Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. This may be the most boring. Huh. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to be optimistic here. I'm trying to give Tyler a chance. I quit one show. I got hired back on staff to do this show. I don't know how long I'll be able to hang in there if this I'm, is the pace. I'm feeling you, bro. Because I'm like... I feel like I'm watching like General Hospital, something like that, and I don't do soap operas. I mean, yeah, yeah. everybody say these are soap operas, but they're really not. I, I don't know, but I'm gonna do. You gonna, try, I'm gonna to make pull, it, try to make try to make it do what it do what we do. Yeah, I'm, we gonna to make to, this thing happen. We're because. gonna try to pull two rabbits out of eye tonight to make this entertaining enough for y'all. Yeah. So let's get into it. Um, first of all. Rate, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff that YouTubers tell you to do because yeah. it does matter. <laughs> yeah. YouTube likes matter. <laughs> hey. YouTube subscribers matter. Yes, it does. Black lives matter. So, Boom. searching for a mother's love, I didn't really get, maybe next week. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the title didn't fit the episode. It sure know. didn't. Well, we start off where we left off at where <laughs> Demonica is hanging upside down. <laughs> Now we got <laughs> Melissa. She's ready to know. She's ready to find out what fried beef um smells like. Yeah, she want her roasted alive. In the she car. said basically like Lil Wayne. I want to see you pushing up flowers. Die be die. die. Well, she was on her way up to that great getting up morning. Yeah. Until Mitch and Benny, they come strolling through on their way to the 7-Eleven to play their pick three for the night. Happened to roll up on them, turned upside down, went. And Benny went ahead and got in the car and saved Demonica. Oh, he saved that piece of puss. That's what he said. Now, this is the part that tripped me out. And that's how I know Demonica ain't changed at all. Hmm. She refused to go to the hospital until Benny got in the back of the ambulance uh -huh. with her talking about something. I ain't got I ain't nobody, nobody else. else. You ran them all away. <laughs> So Benny, yeah, doing it. Benny, Benny being Benny, got right in the back of that ambulance like he, Mr. Harrington, and rode away to General Hospital so we could find out what's wrong but, with this but, winch. But we know that that winch wasn't fitting to die. No, we knew she wasn't yes, going to die. we knew she wasn't going to die. I thought the police was going to roll up, though. So I, 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 I didn't think Benny and Mitch was going to roll up. Nah, me either. But I'm like, Benny didn't recognize her voice? Many times did you done hit that? Like Lady Indica say, it's a big pretty mall, but ain't nobody shopping. He says, the elevator is going up, but ain't nobody in ain't there. Ain't nobody in there. Ain't nobody in there. So, then we back over at the hotel. Broderick is still messing with Jim Cry. <laughs> now, you know Jim went over there and got David's credit card from him last week so that he can put it on file so he can have a place to stay to lay his head. Because he's like Jesus in a manger. Ain't nobody made a place for him. So... Broderick is messing with the thing and he was like, listen, we can't let you stay here. Hotel policies say that the name on the credit card got to match the name of the person that's in the room and that don't match. So I deactivated your key card. Yeah, and we need your ID. So they went ahead and got that worked out. So we come to find out. Broderick, we always, we knew that something was up with Broderick. But Broderick and this guy named Rocky, what they are doing is they're running a prostitution. They're right? running hoes through the hotel. <laughs> I said, well, it makes sense. God, why y'all ain't running Candace, though? I mean, Darren, you got a, you got Prime right there. Oh, they can't afford her. So, um, Broderick tells Rocky, listen, my next mark is um, Catherine Cryer. If we can get that down packed, we can quit all this bullshit that we doing here. And Rocky said, that woman don't want you. Yeah, she ain't gonna be caught caught dead walking around with you on her own. Yeah, because Savannah is all about image and all that mm -hmm. stuff. No, that's not about to happen. Broderick said, listen, if I know my, my player game like I know it, and she with a prick like that, she's ready for, for excitement in her life. And I think I'm just the cat that's going to be able to do it. He think, so, that, he think the damsel in distress is going to work. But Catherine is a whole lot more smarter than that player. I said, Catherine ain't what you want now. Yeah, you, She'll play the game with you for a little while. And you probably sign up for a dog fight that you ain't ready for, brother. Mm -hmm. You ain't ready for what I'm telling you ain't ready for. It. So then we got Wyatt. Like I told y'all, Wyatt should have stayed yeah, dead. I'm sick of, yeah. Wyatt is over at his place. He wakes up now. Wyatt ain't black, so I can't even put this on him. You, you, you didn't feel that somebody was in your house that shouldn't be in the house. I mean, the energy wasn't off. You got a whole dude sitting right there, like 10 feet away from you, and you don't know he there until you walk around the corner. Then you didn't even act surprised. So who, who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Well, Anna 
she has to be reassigned. Evidently, the ding wasn't too good because she was like, after I got it, I don't even want care to see it no more. She got reassigned to somebody else. So now we got this new cat over there, and he's trying to take Honor's place. And Wyatt ain't having it. He nah, said no. He's like, mm mm. Bring me Honor or me you're Anna. fired. Mm -hmm. I paid for Honor. So Honor, get her over here or you got to go. Well, Homeboy left. He tried to call Honor. Honor's not no answering answer. his phone calls. And I understood what old boy was saying. He was like, basically, she's been compromised at this point. She's supposed she to be over here helping you. And she helped you. Yeah. So, no. And she's a recovering addict as it is. So, both of y'all can't. Look, two weak people can't help nobody. Yeah. So the you, blind leading the blind. And y'all fall in the ditch. Hello. So, then we see Hannah. Hannah is over there at her new place that she's staying at. That ain't her place. I, no, it ain't her place. It ain't her place. But she's at the place that Captain Cryer gave her. Yeah. And now we got Derek. Derek came over there who happens Say to be Derek, the builder. The plumber builder. Yeah. So Mr. Clean comes over there <laughs> and he comes to fix the sink. Now he's kind of kind of dry flirting with Hannah or whatnot. You know, but Hannah being Hannah, you know, she was asking him, you know, how long it was going to take to, you know, clear the clog or whatever it was, the drip or whatever in the sink. He told it was going to be a couple of hours and whatnot. And he said, so you bought this place from Miss Cryer. She was like, no, you know, I'm here temporarily so I can find Same. me a spot. He was like, you know, I build places all over this city, you know, for half of the price. Let me know if you down for something well, like that. I need that. something for the third of the price. You don't need nothing. You got one right there. Hold on. For free. How does a person... Can, Jesus, can you transfer the blessings of Hannah over, over to, to me, me where somebody can give me a house? But I'm not going to talk my way out of a pay for a house just to go and mortgage another. Dumb. Just because I'm too prideful. Dumb. Okay. I'm going to let it go. Dumb. So she gets a telephone call from the morgue. The morgue said that there was some stuff left in little Quincy's pockets. And that she needed to come down there and get them. And the first thing that I asked myself, I said, didn't um, Candace go down there and raise all kinds of hell? She sure did. Talking about this, my son, da 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 And somewhere in there, y'all still calling him? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. It's time. It don't even matter. All roads lead to even, where? Don't even matter. Ford Motor Company. Well, Hannah calls Catherine and asks Catherine, listen, is it okay that I leave Derek in this house by himself while I go down to the morgue? It don't matter. You don't want the place. Yeah. So it don't even matter. So she gave it an okay. Yeah, you know, he's trustworthy. That's <clears> good <throat> people's right there. You know, he built the place hell. <laughs> I mean, so she goes down to the morgue. Old boy brings her a baggie full of little Quincy's items. And me and Stan looked at each other and like, said, how the hell all that stuff fit in his pocket? I said, what the hell did he have? I'm old? like, like that bullshit can't even fit in my pocket. Did he have old cargo jeans? <laughs> or overhauls or something. So the only piece that made sense, well, the, the piece that made sense and made everybody kind of in their feelings about it was Lil Quincy had wrote a note to God mm -hmm. and asked God to make his mommy and his grandmommy stop fighting and yelling at each other. Mm -hmm. And now Hannah is all in her feelings because now she realized that the relationship that she has with her daughter, or the lack thereof, that grandbaby felt every last bit of it to the point where he's asking God to help his grandma and his mom. So that was the part that I was like, okay, maybe it's the mother's little part get ready to come on. But then nothing happened. Hey, nothing happened after that. Nothing happened. And I'm sitting here like, okay, we got like 10 minutes left. What's about to happen big? Nothing. nothing. Nothing happened. I'm like, okay. So then we go over there. We over there at um David's new place. Yeah. <laughs> David is getting this um king size bed put together. Yeah. Because he re look, he ain't got no dining room table. He ain't nope. got no sofa. But he gonna make sure that oh. that bed is red too. Oh. oh, that bed gonna be set up. Well, Erica said she, it was a little too masculine for her. But you know we gonna work with that. Listen. I'm convinced that the real life Erica has to be pregnant. I said yeah, she's standing yeah. up there looking like Masika from um, Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, is it yeah. Love and Hip Hop? Yeah. I said she looking just like Masika. Just, just, just. Yeah, it. I, yeah, I definitely can see it in this. Most time I can't see it. I and I definitely seen it tonight. So she had went shopping, got four hundred dollars <laughs> worth of stuff. David said, "You know, he that's said, all you got. That's all you got." 
like, what? He said, I told you to get a whole wardrobe and you just come in with $400 <laughs> worth of stuff from H&M? <laughs> like, like, but I say horrible merchandise? That's all you did? Now, she went on down to Coles. Mm, use the Coles cash? Yeah. Well, what else happened? After that, David, David's phone been ringing because Jeffrey is trying to get in touch with David and what's his, what's, what's his name? Can't. Justin Timberlake yeah, is trying, trying to get, get in touch, touch with, with him. him. Yeah. Well, he's not answered any of his phone calls, and now Erica's phone is going off. And I said, so they're calling you too? But no, it was Candace. Candace was like, listen, I need you to get 100000 out of David. I was like, oh, I'm going to beat you away one more time. On. And she was like, that's How impossible for me that? to do. No, it's not. Not the way you got his nose wide open. I don't know. That that right there gonna, gonna open up the radar. All of a sudden, you need a hundred thousand for what? Yeah. She so had to come up with a with an amazing plan to get that hundred thousand. So before that, Candace was um going to the. <laughs> I said, Lord, they treating this like it's a Motel Six for real. She goes up to the front desk of this hotel and wants to pay for one more night in cash. Now the last time I checked, you can't pay no cash at no motherfucking hotel. Not in a good one. Nah. Not in a good one I've been in. Nah. Because I don't try wanna... to pay cash for other people. I try mm -hmm. to get a hotel room for my cousin. They say they want a card on file. So if you steal or break anything, they're going to charge you for it. They can't charge you for it with stuff where you got cash on file. So, come find out. She been paid up for 30 days. Yeah. Well, whose credit card is on file? Oh, oh, that was Oscar not a cash too. Oh, oh, Oscar Maya Wiener. Well, at first I thought Charles Obama had did it. Nah. Well, Oscar Mayer Wiener did it because basically he wants Candace to take down Charles Obama. I told you, I got a good mark, a big mark. I need you on the case. Candace said, I don't want mm -hmm. no parts of what that guy got going on. She said, I he barely, I barely made it out this time. <laughs> and she said, plus he has moved on. I said, he did it that quick? Okay, who is new boo? We ain't got that far yet. Or did we? Okay. But the Oscar was like, he's still talking about you. Yeah, I st he's yeah, still be asking you know about you. So, while Oscar's sitting there, his telephone rings because he had already told Jim, listen, I know what's going down with your son's car. He was basically, he was mugged by some thug. black thugs that ain't too smart. So, he gets a telephone call from somebody and he was basically, Quita Maxwell's name came up. So, Candace was like, mm, oh, how I you know her? So Candace lets Oscar know, listen, whatever you got going on with um, Quita, I want in on that deal. I yeah. want to be What's, in on well, the how deal. How much can I make off of that? Of getting Wyatt's money back. That's what I want to work with you on. He was like, and mm -hmm. he was like, no, 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 no. I no. got this on lock. I got this straight. Candace you. said, you gonna need me for this one. So go ahead and cut me in on this deal. Hmm. I said, Oscar. I think you may just want to go ahead and cut Candace in on this deal because mm -hmm. you not getting nowhere and Jim is losing his paces with you. Yep. He homeless, hungry, sexless, and he ain't got the money back yet. Yeah, and all his credit cards are shut down. And which is like, so how he go pay you? Yeah, but you know, you pay him out of that. asked for the freaking account, he was like, I'm going to text it to you because he ain't got no account. He ain't got no account. So, you know, of so course. You be, so, you better open up a prepaid um, freaking uh, oh, PayPal card. Uh, uh rough card. <laughs> yeah, rough. <laughs> uh, rough card. <laughs> now, nah, Russell Simmons need his own rough card to get him out that mess he in now. Huh. So, Oscar's still trying to pitch the idea. You know how much our first ladies make after they leave the White House? You can pitch this. You can do a tell-all book or all the stuff that Donald Trump, I mean, um, um, Charles Obama did while he was in the White House messing around with the Russians and all that stuff. You know how he got a little, hmm. You know, you can tell all that stuff in your book and you make a whole lot of money like Melania is going to do once she divorces and leaves Donald Trump. So, why don't you take in on that deal? She don't want that. Nah. So, um, but. I don't blame her. Oscar did let um, Candace know, listen, um, you didn't know that Jeffrey was in jail. So she basically, like, what? you need to pay, play by the rules of my game before he starts singing and you be sitting in that cell next. Mm -hmm. So now her antennas is her going antennas up a little bit up. now. But I forgot about she didn't know he was in there. So she did what I would have done too. I need to call this boy's mama and find out what's, what's going on. But what you don't he ain't know, supposed to be in jail because if he in jail, I'm, I'm going to be next. <laughs> but what you don't know is that she put him there. Exactly. So we messing around, with, messing around with Justin Timberlake. Yeah. So now we got Justin Timberlake. He keeps getting 
that god doing jeffrey out of that cell for feels i'm like uh nobody notices that he always come and gets the same guy over and, and over, over again. and over. But maybe the, 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 the last time they started hollering when he went out there, it was like, you yeah, like, I know what, what you're doing. You doing? Yeah. Listen, somebody's gonna have. In order to get rid of him, Jeffrey's gonna have to kill him. That dude, he's in, he's in love and in lust and full of cum dust. And he, I don't know what else Jeffrey can do. Little, and the thing about it, Jeffrey can't break bad on him at this moment because he, he, needs he him. really need him right now. Justin Timberlake's go t look at Jeffrey and say, tell me you love me. Jeffrey go. said, I love you. I he knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He gonna sit on him cowboy style. I said, I said, what in the world? And y'all know how I already feel about Tyler in this force, um, mm -hmm. sex. Force sex. Basically rape scenes. This creepiness that he does when he's writing these characters that's just not a realistic I'm not going there nah. with Tyler, but I have been side eyeing Tyler for the longest mm. when it comes to this bullshit. Why? Why? It's unnecessary. Nah. And we were gonna do um, if Love of You was wrong last week. I looked at that and I said, I'm not. I can't. <laughs> I cannot do this with Tyler and how he keeps writing these. Okay, whatever. Yeah, cause I ain't even seen it yet. Now, stand it every Yeah, yet. I still need to watch it. So um, and Jeffrey tells. Oh boy, listen, get my telephone and call, call my, my daddy. daddy. Because he let him know that, listen, I've been trying to call your daddy on your behalf. He's not answering the phone. Jeff was like, basically, because he don't know the number. Yeah. You know, so if he ain't recognizing the number, he's not going to answer. So, just to typically let him know, <laughs> I already got your phone in my locker. Say what? He said, give me the password to the phone. See, Jeffrey, you better than me. Because I would have told him, said, why you got me in this um holding, say, um, holding room right here? Go get my phone and bring it to me. And let me make the phone call. Because now what he going to do is he going to go through his phone. Yep. Check everything. Check it twice. Yep. Figure out all his stuff. And, you and know now what? he really going to gain it, control. It says so much said it because we seen in the previews that Wyatt had called the phone. He told him, say, don't you ever call yes. this phone no more. So, yeah. Yeah. So then we end off with. Before Jeffrey could go back to his cell, but Jeffrey was begging to go back to his cell. You know it's bad when somebody wants to go back to their cell. He said, please take me back to my cell. But we had to end off with a sexual assault. Mm -hmm. and, li and literally, this dude was necking the hell out of Jeffrey. Yep. And it was so uncomfortable to watch. And, and he and, and there ain't nothing he can really do about it at this point. Yeah. And then, here we go with side eye of Tyler Perry. 366 we got charles obama and landon see because they on the road they still doing the campaign trail and whatnot yeah but why why am i getting the feeling that landon get ready to put the moves on charles uh -huh. obama set him up with with the shots when he said i want to do shots i was like oh hell and charles obama said listen i know what your schedule look like because i'm in control of your schedule yep. you got a late start tomorrow why don't you come on and out with me tonight and let's have some, some drinks. drinks. He, said, he said, that sounds good. He said, matter of fact, we're going to go out as friends, not as your, as your, my employee. I said, Landon, listen, you might wait think a minute. that Charles is coming, but Chucky might show up. Man, wait a minute. Didn't Landon go out and do shots with somebody else? And tried to um, yeah. do somebody in the elevator. What, what, who? Uh, 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 Jeffrey. Uh, yeah, he you? tried Je Jeffrey. Did, did he try, um, did he try Wyatt? I don't it been so that. much booze get going on this show. It's hard. So I'm like, <laughs> he done he done been down this road before with the shots. Where 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 did this come from? Where did this come from? So now we gotta we gotta see what the hell's gonna go on between um um uh, what the name Landon and Charles Obama. and Charles Obama because I, I, it ain't looking too shabby. He gonna end up losing his job. That's what's gonna happen. And then Chuck is going to show Chucky. up. He Chucky, don't know Chucky. Chuck is going to show up. He don't know Chucky. Because I don't think Chuck is with it. But I, I, we don't know right now. We'll see. So, next thing we know, Hannah is leaving the hospital, the morgue part of the hospital with little Quincy stuff. And when she walks out the hallway, she bumps into Benny in the hospital. And they both looking at each other like, and it went off from there. 
I don't know. Yeah, where are we going with this? Where we're going, I, I know I might be going stage left. Yeah, you know us. Yeah, we said we gone, we gone. Is there any use getting on here talking about nothing? I just gave you 20 minutes of fluff just because I want it to be worth your time. Yeah. And I so. don't think I delivered on that. But it's okay. Yeah, so I had yeah. nothing to work with. Yeah. So maybe next week they give us something to work with and and we give y'all something. And if not, y'all will see us fade here. on out like this. Uh-huh. Deuces. <laughs> Straight from the VA, a dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.